So, what is up everyone, as uh, you know, new day, new season, here we are for season 2 of the Mixed Master Series, About Time. My goodness, I know there's quite a few people who enjoy the series, and well, here we are back in season 2, and there's a whole lot of changes that went down in the off-season of this. So, we're going to have to explain a few things, the poor Northbound series is already been shut down because for some reason the series just got very strict very fast so much for that i'm bummed out but it is what it is so let's take a look at a lot of changes that went down for uh this season so the first story is that hattori racing is gone and i say this because tyler ankrum was driving a number 16 Luna toyota for hattori and while well, they're no longer in the series so uh he's joined up with a team which we're about to mention in a second and here we got is uh, Lemir, Amira LeBeau, who drove uh, the the o the number O two Chevy for Young's Motorsports last season. Won the last two races of season one. Well, she merged with uh, season contender Conroy Kozak, who ran his own team. But they merged, they joined forces, merged the team together, or put their assets together, and well, they have their own team called Swerve Racing. Kozak is still in the 76, but for the most part, yeah, LeBeau got her own car on top of that with the 26, and got Dairy Queen, uh, picked up a deal with Dairy Queen, so see how that goes for her throughout the season. Another story is that Greg Van Alst, who ran, uh, quite, made quite a few starts for Alpha Prime's 44 car in Season 1, well, he's bringing his own team in for this one, it's just one car operation, see how that goes for him. Oh yeah, and lastly, or, well, more to talk about later. But amongst the controversy of what was amongst the controversy of the North Mountain series getting shut down, basically a couple of the guys who signed for that have been put in here, and one of them is Caden Lemon, who essentially was gonna run one of the cars for Josh Lee Morrisworth. So with that shut down, decided and JJ Yelly is not really gonna be around, so I figured put Caden in there. And he's going to be on a part-time schedule. So this he's not running all the races. The two is a part-time car anyway. And lastly, something to mention is that, well, uh, yeah, the team known as Pay GMS is gone. And just like that, McAnally has taken over. So not only did they get Tyler Ankrum when he got no ride for season two, well, basically they, they bought out Petty GMS's assets, and now it's basically McAnally's place. Daniel Dyer was driving for Petty GMS, and now he's with McAnally. And Christian Neckes came along with him in 19. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the starting lineup for this race. Alright, now let's take a look at the starting lineup as on the pole. We have Brennan Poole for Alpha Prime Racing, which is still... I think Alpha Prime is still part-time, but this time with Brennan Poole. Hey, hope, hey, if anything, they might change their mind. That just happens sometimes mid-season. But anyways, I digress. Alongside Haley Deegan, which I forgot to mention during the stories that, uh, yeah. Um, Am Racing is here now. With 15, Haley Deegan. And Frankie Muniz is at 25. We'll get to that, actually. Uh, row 2 has got Tyler Ankrum alongside Mason Macy. And row 3 has got Josh Lee running part-time alongside Sam Mayer, a season 1 champ. For Junior Motorsports. Row four has got John Hearn, Amy Check in four, alongside Colin Cropley. Then we got Leland Honeyman Jr. for Young's Motorsports. Yeah, Young's Motorsports actually extended their team. I forgot to bring that up. Uh, they've expanded. As it was, I, was, it was, I think, the 02 in season one. That was a part time car. And this time, well, they brought Honeyman full time. Then we got Anthony Alfredo running full time for BJ McLeod. Just him alongside. Oh, no, sorry. Behind them is August Christensen and Conroy Kozak. Basically, the same car from last season, but this time under the Swerve Racing banner. So, for the most part. Now we got um, Josh Baliki in a new uh, paint scheme, basically for Junior Morrisworth. Teammate to Josh. To Josh. Teammate to Sam Mayer. Alongside Lars, Carls Lars Carlson. Uh, independent from California. Running his own team. Part time. Then we got Robbie Sergon, who did not win a single race last season, but he came really short. Let's see if he can finally get a win and win a few dodges in the field. 
And alongside Christian Eckes, who I mentioned before with the Mac Now, I think. Then we got Daniel Dye alongside Frankie Muniz. Then there is the 98 of Christian Bracken alongside the 20 of Matt Mills. Then there's Bobby Swift. Dougie Swift. Dougie Swift, sorry. Dougie Swift is the only guy running full-time for Josh Moore Sports. Same as last season. And it was begrudgingly brought back. Like, Josh Lee wanted to kick him out after what happened, but decided to keep him back for this one. See if he could actually win a championship this time, because he won a couple races in Season 1. It just didn't pan out in the season overall. Alongside Greg Van Oost. Then we have Scott Frolic, who I think is running full-time, if I'm not mistaken. If not, then, well, let's see how this part-time effort actually is running part-time. Let's see how it goes for him. Alongside Caden Lemon, who's also part-time. Then around the field is another part-timer, Garrett Smithley, in his own car, alongside uh, Amir LeBeau, who is running the full season this time around. Now, without further ado, let's get to the action. All right, all right, so here's the race summary for this race. About, I did not keep track of the cars, good lord. You'll you'll see on screen, on uh, 20 laps, you know, sprint action, NG4 Mix Masters, that's what it's about. Without further ado, we go green flag racing. And it's already quite the start to say the least. And yeah, there you go. Well, let's see. Whoop. Going to the field. Pretty good so far. Very clean. Sorry if you don't have much to say. Just watch this unfold. This Tyler Ankrum is already off. Alright, making moves for the lead here. By the way, there was only about... I forgot how many full-time... Go oh, they're four wide already. That's not good. By the way, 26 cars in this race. Yeah, so... By the way, there was only about 14... There was only about 14 part-time... Like, full-time drivers in Season 1. For this season, there's 19. And that's if they don't get fired early or something like that. Who knows what happens. And look at that. And... Wow. Look at that. So they're already... Tyler Ankrum already swallowed up by the field. And they're on four wide and that didn't stick. Oh my gosh, right away. Um, more cars involved. Good Lord, Haley Deegan into Josh Lee. Oh my gosh. Deegan already. Both AM cars. 50 of Carlson and Munez. Frolic. That's John Hunter. They race back to the line here. Can they move? They're stuck. They're trying to move, but they're stuck. Okay, they could drive off. I was worried. Or not. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they could. Van Oost got to slow down with it. Whoa, whoa. Must be a brakes on the car. Must be acting out a bit. And there's Josh Lee. That did not end well. Oh my gosh. We're only like five laps in. All right, let's take a look at what happened. Four wide. And yeah, no room, and then Sergon got into Scott Frog. John Hunter just riding the rails for ages. And then it eventually slides down. Hopefully he's okay. Slowing it down a bit. Yeah, just nowhere to go at that point. And yeah, just did not fit. And Cropley into the wall. Just minimal damage from him, though. Macy just right under John Hunter Nemechek. My word. Alright, without further ado, let's slow this one down, too. He just, yeah, so that accident happens. He goes too much on the apron. Now, oh, so did Munez. A lot of them did. Collides with Josh Lee. Well, Munez collided with Ankrum, but Ankrum didn't really get any damage. Poor Amir LeBeau into the wall. Deegan got, wow. Deegan got shuffled around right up into Josh Lee. And someone flew airborne. Hang on. Oh my gosh, that was 76 of Kozak. Kozak was in the back of this. And... Oh, jeez. Oh, bounced over Van Alst. Jeez. Brandon Poole with view. Poole's there. Yeah, I just shuffled around. Oh, my gosh. Deegan got screwed. That's not a problem. But, oh, Eke started... His car started acting up. It just slid up into Deegan. That is just unfortunate. Like, what the what? Like, that air. Alright, here's top five. Going to restart. Greg Van Alst is your leader. 
Con Cropley and Izzy? Wait a minute. I don't know if they are. No, he is not. A bunch of lap cars in front. The real leader is the five of Dougie Swift. So, looking through this right quick, where is he? Dougie Swift in the five. They want Sam Mayer in the one. By the way, Sam Mayer won the very first race of the Mixed Master Series and was the point slayer for the entire season. But it's still crazy to see the points battle unfold. As Matt Mills is now running full time, he was running part time in that number 20 Young's Motorsports entry. Now he's running the whole season. See how that goes for him. And oh boy. Oh boy. And there he goes. Going pretty fast. And just like that, Mills is the new leader. With Dougie Swift in second. Sam Mayer stuck in third, just about. Yeah, he's stuck in third, bracket fourth. Van Hulse is in front. Not for long. He might get swallowed up by the field here. Oh, boy. And, yep, there it is. He just has to let him by. But Sam Mayer goes up for some reason? I mean, Van Hulse has pace, but I, mean, I wouldn't do that. He's flat car. I don't know. I feel like that, that's kind of hindrance. Four wide. Oh, my gosh, man. Four wide doesn't make a stick. There goes Smithley. And Priest, oh my good lord, in the ploy, man, oh no, oh my gosh, the 47 slammed into him. Oh no, Muniz upside down. Oh my gosh, Mills. I somewhat saw that coming, it was hard to tell. I just realized, I think Van Ols is back on the lead lap with that, so it helps Van Ols. But that is unfortunate for these my goodness. Okay, I gotta look through a lot right now. Uh oh, in the anchor. Careful, buddy. You just got your lap back. I'd be careful about that. Oh, man. That was just. <sighs> okay, let's see a replay. By the way, that was about fourth. And yeah, four wide doesn't go well. And yeah, did not work. Then he slid up in a G. Sergon got wiped out. 26 got a piece of G. Scott Frolic. Not really anywhere to go. He was already as low as he could be. And it's just, that's it. He expected to view what happened. Yeah, wipes out Bleaky for a second. They go sliding right up into Sargon. Good lord. And, oh, LeBeau got a piece of it. Frog slammed. Oh my gosh, I got wiped out afterwards. Okay, let's slow this down. Let's see that. Slides up into Sargon. Boom. LeBeau in the 26 got a piece of that as Sargon slid down. Someone slid down. It was Pula slid down. Got a piece of that. Oh, Ankrum got screwed because Baliki was on the apron, slid up into him. That is unfortunate. Good lord, that was disaster. But this does unfold from him. I think he's like seven. Yep, and Baliki, that happens, and yep, nowhere to go. Just back up into him. Looked like he could have been clear. Then another guy piles in. Jeez. I'm surprised Macy just thread the needle like that. All right, boys, here's top five. We're going to restart with three. Going with three laps to go here. It's Dougie Swift and Christian Bracken, Sam Mayer, Matt Mills, and the two of Caden Lemon. As they go, green flag again. Three to go. And my goodness, there you go. And just like that, Dougie Swift, no speed, man. What the what? And Sam Mayer, oh boy, looking to spoil the party here. Can Sam Mayer go two in a row? As I forgot to mention, yeah, there was only one race in season one for the hillside. So essentially, Sam Mayer, yeah, he, won, he was the very first winner of this series. And Matt Mills, spoiling the party for him, though, on, the, on that inside, making that pass. And just like that, just like that, he goes off to the lead. But Anthony Alfredo, looking to go on the inside. White flag, here we go. Keenan Lemon, no support, but let's see if he can get there. Oh, but never mind. Matt Mills goes down. That helps out Kane a bit for the draft. And, well, oh boy. Dougie Swift pushing his boy Kane Lemon to the lead. Look at that. Teammates. And just like that, out of nowhere, Kane Lemon wins at Hillside. What the what? What just happened? Okay, we're going to have to go through those last few laps. Wow. I thought Anthony Alfredo would make it stick, but I guess not. And just like that, you're... How? And Kane Lemon's part-time, by the way. He's not running all the races. 
but he's already picked up a win for Josh Lee Motorsports. What the what? Well, okay, let's go through the replay before we get to the results, because that was a lot to, to see. All right, here it is as we go two laps to go here. And, yeah, there he is right now at fifth. Dougie Swift just passed his, boy, his uh, teammate, Dougie Swift. By the way, Dougie Swift's the one running all the races. The only guy doing that for Josh Lee Motorsports. And Caden Lemon gets behind him as Anthony Alfredo, well, he gets down low, but he has no help there. But he's able to keep it up because Matt Mills gets down a bit, and that gives him a bit of a bit of a side draft going on. But then got no support, but then out of nowhere, Dougie Swift lines up right behind him and pushes him to the front. Just like that. Teammates, one, two. Wow. That is quite the finish, say the least. So props, that's Kaylin Lim's very first start in the series. And without further ado, let's take a look at the results for this race. All right, so here is the results for this race. As the winner is Caden Lemon for Josh Lee Motorsports. What on earth was going on there? Like, what? That was, I don't know, that was amazing. But, hey, just like that. And Josh Lee Motorsports overall in the series. This is only the 13th race in Mixed Master Series history. One, two, three. Yeah, so this fourth win for Josh Lee Motorsports in this series. And just like that, the two car has a win now. Because it two car was run a few times in season one by JJ Yaley, but nothing really happened with it. But not this time around. Now, oh yeah, let's look at the rest of the results. Dougie Swift second. So Dougie Swift already doing good on his return. Sam Mayer third. And uh, Matt Mills in fourth. Fifth is Christian Bracken. Alfredo fell down to six from that. Christian Eck is seventh. Josh Berlicki, Greg Van Alst, Daniel Dye, Amir LeBeau. Only ten cars on the lead lap. The rest of them were destroyed amongst those other accidents. And yeah, Haley Deegan wound up dead last. And that rough start, but you know, twelve. I mean, it's only twelve races, but again, a lot could happen in twelve races, especially when the season just started. So. Yeah, next race is going to be at Dover. See how that goes for those guys. And without further ado, um, that is about it.